Today I wanted to do a quick video on uh, something that I've been getting a lot of questions on on my other game share videos. Uh, and that is, can you game share Animal Crossing? Uh, and the answer is... Sorry for the uh, disheveled look. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one out there right now who's looking a little uh, less than presentable. <laughs> um, uh, but today I wanted to do a quick video on uh, something that I've been getting a lot of questions on on my other game share videos. Uh, and that is, can you game share Animal Crossing? Uh, and the answer is yes. Yes, you can. Before we get into it, though, uh, Animal Crossing is a very unique game for the Nintendo Switch. Um, as where other games, uh, each profile will have its own save file, so different from the other save files on that particular Switch. Uh, so, like, let's say if I had uh, progression going in Super Smash Bros. or Super Mario Odyssey, um, another profile on that exact same Switch would have its own progression. Uh, Animal Crossing, not so much. Animal Crossing is the first person that plays the game, gets to name the island, uh, they're the main resident. They have their own little cutscene at the beginning uh, with its own day and night cycle. Once that's over, it goes over to real-time day and night cycles. Um, the second person that plays and so on and so forth, uh, they skip that introduction phase um, and it goes directly into the day and night cycle because they're sharing the island with the first person that played or the, the first profile that played on that switch. So it's one island per switch, that's it. It doesn't matter if it's the same cartridge and you put that cartridge in another switch, um, that save file will not carry over. It's strictly saved on the console itself, one island per switch. Um, now, if you have multiple switches, you can have multiple islands. So this is where the game sharing comes into play. So if you have a digital version of the game, I'll show you how you can game share on the Nintendo Switch. All right, in other words, set up here, I'm gonna show you that game sharing uh, Animal Crossing on the Nintendo Switch does in fact work. Uh, so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and load up the game under my profile, which is Dad Playing. Uh, and this is the primary Switch. So this is the Switch that my profile recognizes as the primary Switch. Um, so I am the purchaser. So now we're gonna go ahead and load it up under this switch here and then this is again dad playing this is my daughter's switch this is my daughter uh lorelei's switch so we're going to go ahead and load up dad playing um and then we're going to quickly put it in airplane mode so checking the software can be played airplane mode there we go so now that's loading up um, and as you can see it was under the dad playing profile but what you'll be able to see right now is that the islands are in fact different. And you can tell right off the bat once they load because it's showing you the little Animal Crossing uh, home screen. And this will be under uh, the character Gerardo. And this will be under the character Lorelei. Uh, and then we'll do the same thing with this switch here. This is another switch that's game sharing with my profile. This is my daughter Daphne's switch. Uh, oh, system update. All right, hold on, let's do a quick update. Update complete. All right, that slowed me down a little bit, but <laughs> anyways, for now, I'll show you. So this is my daughter Lorelai's island. And then this is my island. And right off the bat, my island is sunny, her island is rainy. So it's completely random. So even though they're being used under my purchase, it's my uh, Animal Crossing purchase that I did digitally. Um, same game, we started at the same time, but we're in different levels of progression in the game. Different villagers, totally different atmospheres. Um, it, it, it's, it's great. All right, so now that I showed you guys how you can game share 
on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, let's get into some of the questions that I've been getting on the other videos um, for Animal Crossing. So we're going to go ahead and do a little Q&A uh, session right here. Uh, one of the main ones is, can you visit other people's islands when you game share? Yes, technically. Um, you can't visit other people's islands locally through game share if you're pr pretty much if, if I have two of my switches and they're sharing the same game uh, the same Animal Crossing game digitally they can't visit locally um, the reason being is that they have to be connected online and if one of if one of those profiles is playing and it's online and, it, and the other one gets off of airplane mode it's gonna kick the other one off um, what if you're playing on different profiles for that particular Nintendo Switch? Yes, you can technically should be able to, but it doesn't work. Uh, local play with Game Share does not work. The, the license, for whatever reason, it knows that even though it's being used by a different profile on the primary Switch and the purchaser profile on the secondary Switch, it knows the same gaming license and it won't let you play via local. You can play via online, so the primary switch using a different profile, as long as that other profile has Nintendo Switch online, and then the secondary switch is being used by the purchaser profile or the primary profile, then they can play online. And I'll show you guys how to do that right now. Uh, so via local play, you got it. I'll turn off the internet connection and setting that for local play. Roger. Saving, do not touch. And again, I can already tell you via local play, via game share, it's not gonna work. But if we were playing via online, via game share, it would work. As, as long as the primary switch is playing via a different profile than its purchaser profile, it will not kick the secondary switch off and then you can visit each other's islands that way. Uh, let's fly. So it looks like we got to fly for Isla Daff. So it already knows, but then boom, error code 2203-0020. A communication error occurred. Downloaded software and downloadable content can only be played on one console at a time. For more information, please refer to the Nintendo Support website. But again, there is a bypass to this. If we were playing online with each other, we could visit each other. So download and downloadable content can only be played on one console at a time. Not necessarily true. Um, okay, so that's a no-go. That's a no-go for local uh, island hopping. Another question I get, uh, again, can you game share locally? Yes and no. So the primary profile, or the, the purchaser profile on a secondary switch uh, can play locally with another switch if it's a different game and profile than the one that's being used on the purchaser profile. So let's say, we'll, we'll show you an example with my wife's switch. My wife's switch has the cartridge version, she can game share, I mean, she can visit my daughter's island, which is a game shared copy of the game, my copy of the game. They can visit each other locally, as long as the secondary switch is connected to online and the other switches, if they're being used, are in airplane mode or they're not being used at all. The reason being is that if my daughter's switch is not in airplane mode, she can get kicked off or she can kick somebody else off. So she has to be connected to the internet technically, even though she's being lo local play. She has to be the only one playing on that profile at that time. And I'll show you guys what I mean right now. So this is my wife's Switch. She got the awesome Animal Crossing. Pre-ordered it the first night they became available. The next day they were completely sold out. Uh, so yay. Yay. <laughs> um, and in this copy of the game is a 
physical copy of the game. It doesn't matter if it's physical or digital, as long as it's not a game shared, or as long as it's not a game shared copy of the game with the this profile. Uh, it could still technically be a game shared copy of the game from somebody else, as long as it's not one that's being played. So it can't be the same profile because we just technically tried that. Um, so here we go. So this is my wife's island. The Bamama is what she named her island. Pretty cool. Pretty funny. <laughs> All right. So this is my wife's island. Let's see where her airport is. Airport straight down. All right, so we want to visit somebody's island via local play. I want to fly. Via local play. Roger. Uh, yep, looks like we got a flight for Isla Daff. And then right now you'll be able to see that it will actually go through because it's a different license of the uh, for the game. So it's not a game shared one. So already, this switch is already getting ready to accept a visitor. So there you go. Can a game shared copy of Animal Crossing play with uh, another switch via local play. Uh, technically, yes, as long as it's not, you're not trying to hop over to somebody else's island that you're uh, game sharing with. Um, so this is its own copy of the game. That's why you can hop over. Own copy of the game under a different profile, might I add, because if it was, uh, you were trying to, even though it's stone copy of the game, if you were trying to hop over under the uh, dad playing profile, uh, it would still kick it out because it can only be one profile cannot local play with with its own uh, profile. All right, so yeah, um, that's it. Another question I get is, can you visit other people's islands online while game sharing? Yes, you can. Uh, Again, the only thing you need to do is make sure that you're the only profile that's playing at that particular time, or the other profiles that are, are you're being game shared with are in airplay mode because you have to be online in order to do so. Um, here's the funny part though with this, is that since you're playing online with the game shared profile, technically if you're visiting your friends, you were only visiting the friends on that profile. So they're not necessarily the friends that you have on another profile that are your actual friends. It's you're visiting the friends of whoever's profile you're using at that time, unless you're using a Dodo code and, and you're visiting whoever. Um, so the funny thing is, is that if you open up your island for visitors, that profile's friends will come visit you and they could be visiting a different island than they're used to. So it's really cool uh, for the other people involved because they could be trying to visit Gerardo on uh, Dad Playing's profile, but they might be visiting Daphne's under Dad Playing's profile. So they may be visiting Daphne's Island or Lorelai's Island or whoever else's island you might have game shared with that particular profile. Okay, so this question is, can you visit other islands if you're game sharing? Yes, you can. Uh, the only issue with that is that the console cannot be in airplane mode because of course you have to connect to the internet. Uh, so you have to make sure the other consoles are in airplane mode or they're not playing any games on that particular profile. Um, so let's go ahead and this is 
Daphne Switch. This is the Switch that game shares with my profile, Dad Playing Game. As you can see, that's the primary account. This is the secondary, one of the secondary accounts. Checking if the software can be played. It can be played because no other console I'm game sharing with is playing right now. All right, so we're gonna make it. Make our way down to Daphne's airport, which should be down this way. Oh, here it is. Okay, so like I stated before, um, these will not be Daphne's friends that she's playing with. Uh, these will be the friends list that I have on my profile. So it's, it's a little tricky. Um, so if you don't want to play with other people's friends, um, you can do the Dodo code. And then that way you can just invite whoever you want and they can invite you via Dodo code if you don't have them as a friend on that particular profile. Um, so you can still technically play with your friends if they're not uh, friends with the profile you're playing on. Uh, so I want to fly. Hopefully there's people that are open right now. Uh, so via online play. Roger, again, you have to be connected to the internet, so you got to make sure this console is not in airplane mode. you got to make sure the other consoles are in airplane mode, or they're not playing a game on that particular profile. How do you want to travel? So search for a friend, search for via Dodo code. I don't have a Dodo code right now, so we're going to search for a friend. Hopefully somebody is got their um, their gates open. Oh, drumsticks. Looks like there aren't any islands we can take you to right now. Sorry about that. Um, but you have to take my word for it. It does work. As you can see, he was looking. Um, so you can visit other people's islands while game sharing uh, either by dodo code or by the friends list however it's not your friends list it's whoever profile you're game sharing it's their friends so take that as you will you still technically can with the dodo code visit your friends um, but I know a lot of people are not gonna like that another question I get is what about cloud saves for Animal Crossing well, you don't have to be concerned about overriding a cloud save for this particular game because Animal Crossing does not support cloud saves. Um, I also get just cloud saves in general. What about them being overridden? Well, you can actually turn that off uh, on a console by console and game by game basis. Um, also, if you're not paying for a Nintendo Switch Online, you don't have to worry about uh, overriding uh, cloud game saves because that is a feature linked to that particular service. Okay, so really quick, another question um, I'm constantly asked is, what about DLC? Uh, so yes, DLC can be carried over to another Switch, and I'll go ahead and I'll show you that right now. First, we're gonna get out of airplane mode on Daphne's Switch here. We're gonna access the Nintendo eShop. We're gonna go under the profile that purchased the DLC. And the switch just updated right now. And you may be wondering <laughs> where the audio is on these. Um, a lot of the comments on my last video were, why didn't I lower the audio? So that's why there's no audio coming from the consoles. I hope it doesn't come back and get me because I know a lot of times before it was a lot of people were saying that these videos were fake because there was no audio so you know you can't win them all uh, hopefully this satisfies a lot of people with not having to hear a bunch of the same music going playing at different times so that's why there's no audio coming from the consoles right now so let me put in my password I have a password set up on the secondary switches um, just so I can have a little bit more control. Uh, just because this is access, as you can see, my eShop. So, we're gonna go to re-download. And there it is. Animal Crossing New Horizons downloadable content. Uh, and this DLC is actually the DLC for uh, the Pocket Camp.
So that's downloading it now, and that downloaded it that quickly. So we don't have to put this in airplane mode right now, just because none of the other consoles that I'm game sharing with are playing. Um, so we'll leave that off of airplane mode. However, I always recommend as soon as the game loads for you to put it in airplane mode if you are game sharing, just in case another console does hop on that's being game shared with, does not kick you out. Uh, and especially in a game like Animal Crossing, uh, where you want to make sure you've saved your progress before you end, uh, I recommend putting it in airplane mode. It'll be right in here, and it'll allow me to purchase items from the... Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. So Nook Shopping. Yep, there we are, promotion. So yes, uh, you can game share DLC for Animal Crossing New Horizons. Um, but yeah, I believe that is the bulk of the questions I've been getting. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'll try to get to them as soon as possible. Uh, until next time, bye! Okay, so really quick, um, somebody I didn't get to uh, before, because I know somebody's, somebody's going to ask me. Um, how can you game share? How do you get the game to game share? Okay, so what you have to do is you have to download the profile of the purchaser on the Switches you're going to game share with. Uh, that being said, that particular purchaser is me, which is Dad Playing. So this is me right here. Uh, that's me right there, Dad Playing. Uh, so then on the other switches, I've already downloaded that profile. So there he is, Dad Playing. There he is, Dad Playing. And there he is, Dad Playing. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to hop under onto the eShop via dad playing or via whatever profile it is you're game sharing with not dad playing of course because i'm only game sharing with uh people i know um so we we'll put in my code this is just like um i downloaded the dlc exactly like that so next you're going to go up here and then you're going to go down to re-download and then it'll show you all of the games um, that that particular profile has purchased that are not on this console yet. Um, so if Animal Crossing wasn't on this console yet, I would find Animal Crossing and then I would select it from here and then it would automatically start downloading Animal Crossing. Um, However, I've already downloaded Animal Crossing, so that is not a game that is on here. Um, so how do you get the profile onto that particular Switch? Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to select the eShop, and before you log into the eShop, you're going to see this guy way over here. You're going to hit Add. You're going to create a new user. Doesn't matter which icon you select. Doesn't matter which nickname you select. Because what you're going to do is you're going to link a Nintendo account. it's preparing so from here you're going to sign in using an email address or sign in id then you're going to enter that email address or signing id and then you're going to enter that password for that particular nintendo account you're going to hit sign in once that occurs it's going to transfer all the information from that id to the profile you just created. So it'll override the uh, icon we just selected. It'll override the name we just selected and it will become whatever profile it is that you have uh, um, linked to it. So if dad playing wasn't on here and I put the dad playing sign in ID and password, then that Mario would become this right here. It would become dad playing. It would have the dad playing name. It would have that profile picture instead of that. 
And then I could continue to the eShop and re-download whatever games and DLC I wanted and go from there. All right, uh, so that is it. Uh, again, if you guys have any questions um, on this or anything else you would like to see in the future, uh, feel free to ask or state it in the comments below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. All right, once again, until next time, bye!